Hey guys, Edo here. We're back with more of the One Piece, not the One Piece, One Piece episode 1,121. 1, uh, last week we had sort of a bye week, but not really. It was like a, one of the special episodes giving us info about the, the admirals and whatnot. And this week we're going to talk about the admirals again, but like for the stuff going on right now with Garp and Kuzan and such. Uh, so yeah, let's get into to the episode, see what we got going on, and uh, yeah, see how they animate this. <laughs> So he's getting right into it again. I love when episodes just get right into the stuff and stuff. But anyways, Garp and Kuzan, a master and the pupil's beliefs clash. All right, cool. Can we hear the, uh, well, I'll let it show what's gonna sue, but yeah. This is, it's like a graveyard area for like all the ships and such. There we go, okay. Oh. <laughs> Like hurting him doing it. I forgot the guy in the pink's hair's name, but so how could warships get so banged up? Battleship bags. <laughs> Using the warships as punching bags, basically. Yeah. Young Vice Admiral Garp was doing it. <laughs> the other one belonged to the. Aokiji. Okay, young Garp looks cool. <laughs> you can't sure hawk your devil fruit powers, that's the rule. Okay. Just pure strength, basically, I guess. Oh. Oh, San Juan Wolf. Aliyup. <laughs> His devil fruit is still trapping to me. I wonder how it works, though. I mean, it makes sense for how it works, but it's still weird, I guess? I don't know. Oh, Garp. <laughs> gonna crush them. Why not crush them too? Because they're like collateral? <laughs> his head? <laughs> There's that sound effect for that, right? That was interesting. So I'm flying too? In the water too? <laughs> so Garp is so scary. Pull him out or how would they pull him out though? Yeah. <laughs> so he's just getting started. <laughs> so how dare you mess up the hideout? <laughs> hey how he's chugging chugging the alcohol there. Oh, Duncan Spitfire, that's interesting. So sort of pirate fireballs. <laughs> that's a messed up to do. That makes sense. <laughs> They're laying on the ground is picking him up and chucking him. I mean, isn't that Vasco Shot's fault for the fire thing? Yeah, the phone call during all this. Oh, okay, it's them. Yeah, girl, how the long neck? You see that? What? <laughs> There's no end in sight. And Kuzan came back. Oh, the animation shifted a bit for that. <laughs> Why you put that up there? Don't die, okay. It's probably a trick, right? Yes, yeah, a trap. Oh, that's some um, she she you. That's his name. The black blade there. Oh. Kobe messing up. Is he gonna get a good hit on? Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the hoodlum of Impel Down. <laughs> Had to nerf Garb to do all this, basically. Also, this is a show in a way that, um... I guess if your hockey is legit enough, you can sense the invisible guy and whatnot. <laughs> oh, Kuso GG. Close up the wound if you can. <laughs> Not trying to rush them now. Oh, it froze that. That's cool. I like how we did that. Ooh. Reflections and stuff, too. <laughs> it's really cool and weird how they're doing this. Why is he freezing them all, though? I feel like he doesn't have to do all that. Ooh. Ice glove. Well, that's from the um the opening, basically, right? <laughs> Going back to this. Just learn from the Navy's instructions. <laughs> also, I really like when they do this movie cinematic thing thing. I know I said that before, but I like it a lot. Hmm. Don't use your hockey. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. A smile there. That's nice. And now it's actually helping him out for real for real or instructing him. Having lunch together and such. The onigiri and probably some tea. Kinda want that now. <laughs> the no Ohada incident. What does the Navy consider as justice? Hmm. My son became a re revolutionary. <laughs> Ooh. My grandson said he wants to be a... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, this animation is like really... The scene in particular just threw me off. I like it. This feels... Really different, I don't know. You trained a troublesome enemy. You're expelled, my stupid pupil. Ooh. And the music choice for this too? I like it a lot. Hmm. Garb's face there was interesting, like he accepted the outcome. I don't know about accepted, but Ooh. Defend Garp. Yeah, huh? Okay. The more you poke, the more parts will storm out because it's a beehive here. Because Hibar is a sn sniper, right? So she'll be able to shoot them from the, the ship, I'm guessing? Uh, I don't think that's what happens, but it's like, oh well. Don't underestimate the power of the Isle Isle Fruit. The Isle Isle Fruit is still trifling. All of Blackbeard's, not all of them, but at least half of his crew's double fruits are trifling. They're doing a lot with this animation, though. I love it. <laughs> the people falling. That's not funny. But, uh, I mean, because the island's moving, so it makes sense. And then, all I see in the newspapers, Blackbeard, just Blackbeard, that. <laughs> the headline tomorrow will go like this. A young elite unit led by the famous Vice Admiral Garp attempted to rescue Captain Kobe, the hero of the Navy. That felt unnecessary, but sure. But the captain of the fourth ship of the Blackbeard Pirates, Aval Avalo Pizarro's terrifying power. Usually you're dragging us out. But you tragically annihilated them. 
Don't lose your head, Kobe. Justice will always prevail. Oh, it ended there? What? I guess it was the next chapter in the manga. But cool. <laughs> oh, learning about Kuzon today. I thought we did that already, but I guess not. The chili chili fruit. He he no me. Like sherry wine? Okay. He honors his word even dealing with pirates. That's cool. It's good for him in a way. But yeah, guys, I really like how they did that episode, the music, the cinematic thing with the, I guess, the flashback, I guess, with the battleship bags and whatnot. Why Django and them they had to do a part for that to show that off, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just to bring it up for no reason. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, it felt, it felt random. <laughs> but I'm not complaining, though. Uh, I enjoyed the episode, probably one of the better ones. The, the art style did seem weird. Not the one part I was saying, but, like, the coloring, I guess. How, how they colored it. I think, I don't know what the word is, I'm not an, an artist, but something, something about it felt different than the other stuff was, probably to make up for the scene with the Clash, because that was a lot going on there. But good scene, good episode, let me know what y'all think, and I'm going to stop rambling for now, because you guys know I ramble a lot, and yeah, we'll catch y'all on the next one, keep it legit, skedaddle. I don't know why I said skedaddle, I should stop saying that. <laughs>